when German tax authorities entered the home of a hermetic art collector and found a cache of Nazi looted art, they kept their find quiet, hoping to trace the history of some 1,406 pieces by artists such as Pablo Picasso, Henri Matisse, and Marc Chagall before going public. However, since news of the case broke last week, officials have been scrambling to justify the secrecy, which still shrouds the art trove, and to explain why Germany can't just hand the pictures back to the heirs. The strong protection of individual rights enshrined into German law after World War II may ironically support the legal argument that art collector Cornelius Gerlitt should keep the works he inherited from his art dealer father who traded in works confiscated by the Nazis. Prosecutors who are handling the case say that Germany's 30-year statute of limitations for most criminal prosecutions could make a legal pursuit of the art difficult, making legal disputes with Jewish heirs to the looted art look ever more likely. The Nazis branded certain types of art as un-German and degenerate, and propaganda minister Joseph Goebbels tried to sell the artwork abroad to make some cash for the regime. These works of art were looted from private Jewish collections in German-occupied France and Belgium between 1940 and 1944, and their total worth is in the neighborhood of 1 billion U.S. dollars.